Health care reform and education funding and services were some of the biggest stories of 2012. Joining me with an update of those stories and more are KPBS health reporter Kenny Goldberg and KPBS education reporter Kyla Calvert. Kyla, we're going to start with you. You did a series at the beginning of last year on uh, homeless students in San Diego. Uh, what's the latest on that? Well, when I did those stories in February, the district had gone from identifying about 600 homeless students in 2006 to uh, more than 3,500 students at the beginning of 2012. And so I checked in with some of the people that I worked, I spoke with for that story uh, earlier this week, and they told me that now there are more than 4,000 homeless students in the San Diego Unified School District that, that they're working with. So it still continues to rise. It is continuing to tick up. You did a, a profile, you followed a high school junior, Courtney Medlin, uh, who lived in a group home in downtown. Mm -hmm. uh, remind us of her story and, and if you could tell us how she's doing now. Courtney's mother uh, was an addict and passed away. Her father was not really in her life and she was living with her grandmother and that situation deteriorated. She moved to this group home downtown but continued to take two buses every day to get to Scripps Ranch High School. And so I spoke also with her earlier this week and she is applying to colleges and for scholarships. And actually a couple of people who saw that story on her have set up a small college fund for her. Oh, fantastic, that's a great update. And Kenny, among the health issues that you covered this year, uh, one of the big ones was the rise in prescription drug abuse in San Diego. What was the situation? What did you find and, and where does it stand now? Well, it's now the leading cause of accidental death in San Diego. It surpassed even car accidents. So we're seeing a lot of addiction to Vicodin, Toxicontin, and other prescription pain pills. We're also seeing a rise now in the abuse of prescription tranquilizers like Valium and Xanax. And so it's, it's an enormous problem in high schools, in San Diego high schools, one out of five kids say they've abused prescription drugs. So it's across all age groups. And that's not the only uh, drug making a, a comeback. It seems that like heroin is making a major comeback. That's right, especially among young people, among 18 to 25 year olds, heroin is becoming the drug of choice. What's happening is kids are getting hooked on Oxycontin and Vicodin and other prescription opiates. And then the pills cost about $60 on the street a piece. When they run out of those, uh, it's cheaper to go to heroin. It's a lot cheaper than, than one of those prescription pills. So they're getting hooked on heroin now. Once again, yeah, for a big surge, you were saying. A very big surge. The, the number of kids in the 18 to 25 year old age in treatment has tripled for heroin addiction. Wow. Kyla, let's get back to, to the schools and the passage of Proposition 30, obviously mm -hmm. a huge story here. It was a big relief to a lot of schools here. That's right. But what is the impact uh, going to be, do you think, uh, in the coming year? Well, the impact that we can really say right now is that we, it, Prop 30 prevented about $6 billion in cuts that would have mostly fallen on education. So in San Diego Unified, that meant that they didn't cut three weeks from the school year. And other districts around the county were poised to cut days from the school year. Um, and so those cuts didn't happen. As to what happens next year going forward, that's not as clear. And so we have to wait and see what uh, Governor Jerry Brown proposes in his proposed budget in January in terms of spending those new revenues. Yeah, so it's sort of plug the hole in the dike, but we're not quite sure where it goes from here. Exactly. Um, Kenny, the biggest medical story of last year, of course, na nationally that impacts us here, was the U.S. Supreme Court upholding the Affordable Care Act. What does that mean to Californians and by default San Diegans? Well, California was going straight ahead with the implementation of the Health Care Reform Act even before the Supreme Court finally approved it or upheld it, that is. So now the, the uh, state is going straight ahead, ready to implement it. Uh, 2014 is the target when they're gonna have this health exchange online, which allows people to compare health plans, shop for rates, even apply for government subsidies. The national goal is to start those things by January for as California wants to introduce theirs by October. So there's a lot of work to do, and uh, they're, they're working hard to get it ready. Just a, a brief update for folks, because anytime you talk about this, what about people who already have insurance? For people who already have insurance, especially people who have employer-provided insurance, really nothing changes. Their benefits are going to stay the same, but thanks to health care reform, they're able to insure their kids up to age 26, and they get certain preventive services like mammograms, pap smears, all that stuff for free. All right. Well, we are out of time. So KPBS reporter, uh, thank you so much, Kyla Calvert and Kenny Goldberg. Thank you. Thank you.